is people are growing microgreens all around the country. There's a process before it comes to market. I like cabbage. Okay, so I have cabbage, broccoli, and Growing anything in the desert can be kind of challenging. We had to figure out what was going to work for us. Up first. I think the, the radish. Part of the process is figuring out exactly what we're going to plant. Do we need brassicas? Do we need peas? Do we need sunflowers? So we need to figure out exactly how many trays of each particular crop that we're growing. We have to get the soil prepared. Preparing the soil is a, is a job in and of itself. The cocoa core comes in big blocks. It doesn't have a lot of the uh, sticks and stones and other stuff that some of the potting soil that we were working with at first had in it. So we really love, love the cocoa core. And that way we figure out exactly how many trays we need for the day so that we can fill them up with soil. I get all the little seed cups ready. I bought some little inexpensive seed cups um, they're actually like uh, spice uh, jars from Amazon so I prepare those I measure out exactly how many seeds are going to go into each one of those little uh, containers it took us a little while to figure out how many seeds we're going to use for each tray and uh, right now we're using about a quarter of a cup for the brassicas and for the peas, the sunflowers, it's about a cup for each one. The radish is about three quarters of a cup. It took us a while to figure out exactly how many to use. We do buy all organic seeds from True Leaf. We love True Leaf. They're a great company to work with. They ship very fast. The seeds germinate really great. We fill those trays up with the soil. Planting is a fun day. We have quite a fun routine. We are all organic. We love the fact that, you know, we are growing indoors. There's no pesticides. There's no bugs. Everything is very clean. Being an urban farmer can bring you back to your roots. I guess we still like playing in the dirt. Once the seeds are all sown, the trays are top watered really well. From there, we continue to top water the trays twice a day throughout the germination process. Ramon stacks the trays about four high after we've planted them. He puts a no-hole tray on top of them and puts them on the shelves and loads them with a big cement block. Yeah, I don't see how you can go wrong with these, though. <laughs> You eat what tastes good, what looks good, and you know, most people are very guilty of that, but there's so many more people that are caring about what they're eating and you know, how it's grown or how it's raised or processed and everything else. We pull, make, well, we try to pull off as many shells as possible. We miss some, some do not want to come off. Look like you uh, going on a date, man. You going on a lunch date or what? No. Going on a lunch date or what? Are you saying I'm looking good? <laughs> <laughs> After labeling, packaging, continuous cleaning, washing trays, the microgreens are ready for market. That's the broccoli. It's awesome. And the cabbage right next to it. Um, there's one right next to it. The cabbage. Right here in Fort Mojave. Awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah, we harvest every Friday. So this is.
women come in and for their husbands, they go, my husband won't eat any vegetables or greens. And we're like, hi, down. Speckled pea and radish. The sunflower is all gone. Spice it up a little bit. And they're very delicious.